Relentless Pursuit of Shade. Yes. So it is 2021. Yes. Brand new spanking year. Yeah. Lara had a good idea that we could do a video on our goals for 2021. So we're going to do that. But first, there's a couple things. Um, we do have some uh, goals that have to do with the channel. So if you could please uh, subscribe. And like. And, and like. like. And you, you can also find us on Instagram. And uh, please uh, follow us on Instagram. We would appreciate it very much. So, and thank you to all our subscribers. We love you guys. So, thank you. Um, and then Susan has a little something for us here, something special. Yes. Um, okay. You might recall that I'm a Michelob Ultra Ambassador and they just came out with organic seltzers mm -hmm. in three lovely flavors. Spicy pineapple, peach pear, and cucumber lime. So, while we talk, I think we're gonna I've not even tested them. Tasted them so. We're gonna take well. We're gonna taste test them first, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Do we want to so, do one flavor at a time? One flavor at a time. Okay. okay. Yeah. So. So. We're trying what? Spicy pineapple. Yes. Spicy. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting it. <laughs> Go for it. Hmm. Not a lot of spice in it, but it's refreshing. It definitely Ooh. tastes like pineapple. Yes, yeah, the pineapple comes through more than the spice. But it's not, um, it's not syrupy or anything like right. yeah. pineapple juices. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm a huge fan of hard seltzers, and I, I really like that because it doesn't have that overly mm -hmm. sweet, fakey. No, it's not flavor. It really, it really is smooth. Mm -hmm. So one can is. Uh, 12 fluid ounces and the spicy pineapple is oh actually all of them are 80 calories yes yeah no carbs so, wow that's like mm. super super low i don't have you ever seen anything that's this low no because the regular michelob ultra is 95 calories so so this took, is even took it down a notch mm -hmm. zero sugar and zero carbs and also organic like you said organic so. yeah what is okay. the what is the consensus on this we like it i do and i'm surprised because my the, when i saw the flavors come out and i saw spice and pineapple i was like that will probably be my least favorite but actually it's not i kind of like it yeah so mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. and now i'm actually hit, i'm hitting the spice now you get it in the end. Yeah. A uh -huh. little bit. I like yeah. that. And a little bit of the bubbly up the nose when that's yeah. the spice. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> so would you like to go first yes. on goals? I would like to. And the reason why I would like to is because I have no goals. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little, there's, well, actually, I won't say that. Okay. There is one goal I had and I'm, what, seven days into it, and I'm gonna have a Michelob Ultra every day this year, so I'm doing well so far on that. Um, but I guess a goal I have this year is to not put so much pressure on myself. I, you know, I'm 56 years old, all my life I've set goals, had ambitions, and I've, I've achieved a lot, you know, Boston Marathon, I've, you know, I ran for political office last year, so I've really gone outside my comfort zone a lot in my life. So I think this year, I said, especially after 2020, I said to myself, why don't you just give yourself a year, girl? Just, you know, just whatever whatever comes each day, let's do it. Now, you know, I've planned some events out, like I'll be going to New Orleans in April and stuff like that. But otherwise, just enjoy life and don't, don't fret it. <laughs> and you had, like, a humongous goal for last year, let alone yeah. running for office. Right. But that aside, the tip to tip. Yeah, and I finished it despite huge. an injury. I was right. out 12 weeks with an injury, so finished that 900, ran the 100 days of 5Ks, mm -hmm. then out 12 weeks with an injury, and then actually finished up my tip to tip. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm feeling like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna coast through this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, but but uh, the, the other thing is to in kind of line with that no goals and stuff is um, more minimalist and um, you know kind of like the whole carbon footprint. I'm not a tree hugger by any stretch, but just you know what can I do to make a, a more positive impact? You know, I think I've told you guys I've started using the, like the bar shampoos, trying to get away from plastic bottles as much as I can, mm -hmm. yeah. and you know stuff like that. It's interesting because mm -hmm. I. Some of my goals that weren't really related to running 
it, one of them was to get back to recycling and using mm -hmm. less. Yeah. Because I literally was throwing all this stuff in the garbage, just kind of got lazy mm -hmm. with it, and yeah. I was never like that for yeah. many, many years. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm good about recycling, um, but just I, I I see a lot of plastic in my house, and I'm like, eh. yeah. <laughs> And packaging is starting to bother me too, like how some companies package stuff and I was like, really? You wasted a lot here. So, right. Yeah. It's a ridiculous amount of packaging. Mm -hmm. Rob yeah. got a, my husband got a package today, a gift today, and it was, I was, it's overwhelming the amount of right. stuff that's going to end up in the garbage. Well, even a, a, as, efficient, as Amazon is with their deliveries and everything, I mean, I love Amazon, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I'll order one or two things and it'll be like the size of this and it'll come in a box this big and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, should we should we try another right, flavor go for peach pear? All right, All right. peach pear. We'll let you pour. I think this is gonna be. I'm not a big. Pe I like pears. I'm not a big peach fan. Mm. So it's going to be we'll interesting. See which, we'll see which flavor. Yeah. I can definitely smell this one. Mm. You can smell the peach. Oh, absolutely. Well, and pear. I mean, really. I'm surprised. I like the pineapple better. It's very light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very light. Back to goals, though, while we're still talking. I okay. Thought, <laughs> I had a thought when I was on the way because you, this is running goal related. I don't know if you guys know that when I first started running, which was 21 years ago, they, they did have GPS watches, but it was like the size of a microwave <laughs> on your wrist. <laughs> And you didn't, it wasn't all in one unit. I had to wear a pod on my arm here and then the watch and the pod beam, you know. The, really? Yeah, the satellite beam to the pod, the beam to the watch. And there wasn't all the fancy calculating your stats and all that like you have now. So literally I had an Excel spreadsheet that I would enter all my runs in, like the time and the distance to let it calculate my pace for me and stuff like that. So very old school. <laughs> it's so weird to think that all of it is so much. I know, right? It's like it just feeds directly yeah. into our phone or certain apps. Right, and yeah. Like, yeah. No, no phone app. And then yeah. it goes directly, mine yeah. goes directly to Lara's phone. Yeah. Right, yeah, <laughs> none of that. I had an ex, the old <laughs> Excel <laughs> spreadsheet. <laughs> Lara, what did she yeah. say? She called me a slacker or something this morning. <laughs> I, just, I decided, decided that <laughs> I needed to pick a funny one. I was like, what's with all this? Yeah, she's a slacker. <laughs> like, was that a I think it's something like that. My husband's been running yeah. much longer than me, and I mean, he used to have a little Timex Iron Man watch and that's all they had and it was just recently I, I bought him a Garmin this past year because he never wanted one you know no I don't, I don't need that I got my Timex you know but now that he has a Garmin oh my gosh as soon as he hits he the door he's, a he's hitting that phone and what's the Garmin saying <laughs> look at that isn't it? <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Rob never wanted an iWatch and then once I I upgraded to a new one he decided that it was worth it for him just yeah. to take it versus trading it in and now it's funny, we'll go out for a run, he'll be like, start it for me. Because mm. <laughs> he can't yeah, find it. That, that's like, what Mark I don't know how to do that. I, I, just, I just hit stop and start. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Because I'm like, look, you can look back at your history. And he's like, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Let's do, I'll do my goals. I have mine written down in my planner. I have to do a review see, of my planner. I see, see not, not minimalist. <laughs> this is my Erin Condren hey, planner. Sir, that's going to go in the garbage one day. <laughs> <laughs> you can see my review of the planner right here. <laughs> okay, so um, running. So I actually have a, one goal related to running this year, and it's just we're going to be doing the 20 miles, 17 mm -hmm. to 20 miles for the Key West. Hopefully, I think we're, we think it's going to happen. We paid we for it today right. or yesterday. Right, well, we have the money. Yes, we're registered. Mm -hmm. They're still waiting for the final permitting. So that, that will be in May. Um, and then also, uh, just kind of related to that, is my rep coach training, which I'm actually doing this weekend. So as long as I can pass the test, I will have completed that goal yeah. very early on. And I think I can pass the test. I mean, um, hopefully, I'm sure you can. if I pass the fluid power certification test, <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> derive hydraulic formulas, I can do that. Okay. So then um, for my health, I have a uh, lose weight and healthy eating. So I did get weighed in today for my challenge. I am doing an eight week challenge at my gym uh, to try to lose some of my body fat. And um, I weigh exactly 12, mi 12 miles, 12 miles. <laughs> 
more than I did um, a year ago. Really? Hmm. So I gained 12 pounds in 2020. It's the COVID. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I can really feel it, like in my running and just how I feel mm -hmm. and my clothes. It and is everything. amazing running how much mm -hmm. even five pounds makes mm -hmm. a difference. Yeah, so, um, so I'm going to be working on that, and that's going to be like a major part of this year, and I'm getting some assistance from my uh, personal trainer, trainer on that. So, um, and those are really my goals for this year, mm -hmm. and then we have goals for the, um, for the channel, which we, the can channel. Do, we can do last. <laughs> All right, so now we have the cucumber lime which is the one I'm most excited about. We'll see if it's the one I actually like best or not. Should we just take extra splashes of this one? Oh, I love the smell of it. Mm. Oh. It's so refreshing. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Oh. It smells like a like oh, when you go to the yeah. spa or something. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna have cucumbers on your eyes. Yeah, I knew I wouldn't like this one and I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I love cucumbers, but I don't like it in my, I don't like the flavor in my drink. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do. I like it in water. So I definitely like yeah, it in water. So I, I do like it. Yeah. It's a toss up between that and the pineapple though for me, I will say, because I do really like that yeah. non serve I'm so, yeah, you know, I'm surprised. I think my, I think pineapple is going to come out on top for me. I think the, but I really the, like this. the cucumber lime for me. Yeah. I mean, I'm a gin and tonic drinker. Yeah. And a lot of people put um, yeah, cucumbers, cucumbers in those yeah. as well. This tastes, I mean, obviously it doesn't and we have like the gin. I like cucumber, <laughs> vodka, and tonic. So mm -hmm. that's, this is kind of that. So a very low calorie version. And these are, you feel like that you could be refreshed, but you don't feel like you have to down it. You know, you don't have to be. Yeah, like, this, this, these are very smooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really are. They do, they've done a nice job. Well done, Michelob Ultra. Well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. Here's yep. you. Okay, so my goals. It's um, it's kind of a funky year. It feels weird how last year's goals kind of went, just you know, COVID and all of that. So I was, I, um, I figured out how many miles I actually did last year, and between walking and running, of which more of them were running, um, I did 1,100 miles. Excellent. I was uh, feeling pretty good yeah, about that. That's very good. So, yeah. um, and I saw lots of challenges out there that talked about doing um, the number of miles as the year. So there are challenges for 2021. Right. And then I and I thought, okay, well I could do that. And I calculated it out and I realized how many it was. Mm -hmm. And that's probably a little aggressive. <laughs> I feel like it is, but. But like I said, I'm older and I'm just prone to injury more yeah. now. And I've always been prone to injury, so I, that's why I'm not setting mileage goals like I used to. Because it's you know, I'm just I want to run because mm -hmm. I because I'm yeah. having fun running, not for time or miles or just you know just to enjoy it again. So Monday through Thursday, it's really difficult my work schedule for me to get any running done, uh, any significant running. So if when I look at the, that number of miles and trying to figure it out, mm -hmm. mostly except for our running group yeah. and stuff like that on the weekends. I said, okay, well maybe 1500 is a good stretch. Yeah. Wow, that's so, amazing. So I'm gonna yeah. go for 1500. And again, more, at least half of them being running um, mm -hmm. and the other half being a combination of walking with, wow. the, with the dogs. Oh, go off. girl. So, I will see how that goes. That, that is an amazing goal. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And it's um, a so. big goal. I mean, yeah. if you oh, get that, yeah. and of course you're going to be running oh, 20 so, miles yeah. to the Key so West, the and, key you get West the and then if Dublin happens, I want to go and get Dublin done. I, I do actually want to go and do it in person and mm -hmm. do an in-person marathon. So those are still things that are out there for me in that perspective. So um, health-wise, I'm generally, I, I, feel pretty good most of the time so and I've only had a couple weird injuries this mm -hmm. this last year but that didn't take too very long um, but as I think I've referred to a couple of times in different in different podcasts I'm a um, I'm a breast cancer survivor so just continuing on my health journey that way to keep that from recurrence mm -hmm. is just an ongoing mm -hmm. kind of thing for me um, so I keep doing that and my word 
for 2021. I have a word every year um, that kind of guides my year, and I and I'm given I I know what it is. I, the last couple of the months of a year, I start hearing a word over and over again, and I know that that's the word I've been given for the next year. And um, it's kind of funny, in 2019, I heard persevere for 2020. <laughs> I had good. no clue what that <laughs> meant at the time, you know. So it meant something very different at the end of the year than it meant at the beginning of the year. Um, and the word that I have for this year is abundance. And my immediate reaction to that is, um, you know, similar to what you guys were saying, is um, for me, it's realizing the abundance that I already have. Mm -hmm and not needing more right mm -hmm. you know being minimalistic in the thoughts and because when i really look at what i have i have way more than so many people do yes. um you know the majority of the world we're just so blessed mm -hmm. um we have yeah. even just in where we live and the friendships that right. we have and our our community and all of that um and i just need to uh, to embrace that abundance and not feel like i don't have mm -hmm. But we'll see by the end of this year what that really ends up meaning. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. That's that true. Really interesting. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I am on goals yeah. Yeah. this year for me. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's but, talk about the channel real quick, okay? So goals for this channel. Um, I have been thinking about it and I want us to get more subscribers and interact with people more. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it this year, and we're gonna try to get a thousand. Oh! Wow. Okay. That's so a good push. we've already talked about our hundred, and we are going to have a giveaway for the hundred. So um, when we when we hit a hundred, we're gonna do um, sponges. It was running it was gum. gum and uh, something else, I don't remember. Susan's already explained this, but where we live, we live in like the sponge. The sponge area. capital of the world. Yeah, <laughs> where we call the sponge docks and they're natural sponges from here. So we always put those, we'll put those in. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you'll have like a taste of um, Florida and uh, we'll put the run gum and then we, we're gonna come up with a couple other things. So please subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, so we can hit a thousand subscribers but the thing is um, what we want for this channel is we want people that are everyday people like we are not we're not elite no, no we're, we're not, not we're not, not gonna not, be we're not like serious runners we just we like the I think we like the social aspect of it all more so than the running aspect. and and the 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 mental health the social mm -hmm. aspect and the overall um, general well-being. General right. well-being. Right. And so, um, you know, we're all just regular people. You yeah. won't, from our channel, you'll never see a hundred different shoes being reviewed. No. Like, we, <laughs> we do not want to do that. We will review things. Yep. Yeah. We but we're not going to be, like, we all wear the same shoes, and I am not going to be trying a whole bunch of different shoes, and I don't think that any of us are going to be doing no. that. No. So. Uh, to all the people that review the shoes, we love you, we subscribe to you, and we appreciate it, but we're yeah. not, we're you not don't need more people. people to do that. We, right. we yeah. want to motivate people to, you know, get out there and do things that yeah. are good for them and that are healthy. Yeah. And, know, and that, know that they can do it. Anybody can do it. That's right. the beauty of exactly. running. Anybody can run. I hear a lot of people say, oh, I can't run. Yeah, you can. You, yeah. Maybe you can only run a block, but that's a block. Right. Tomorrow, you know, it's a block mm -hmm. and a quarter. And then before you know, that's, I mean, that's, I mean, I don't know how you guys started yeah. running, but I was walking every day and uh, worked up to like an hour a day walking. And that's when my husband said, why don't you run? I was like, I can't run. He goes, why not? And I was like, I don't know. So he took me out. He goes, we're going to run this block and then we're going to walk a block. And he, mm -hmm. he built me up and I, like to two miles. He goes, now we're going to do a 5k. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but that, I mean, it's just, it's one foot in front of the other. Yeah. And I, I'm, I enjoy running in that. I know how I'm going to feel afterwards mm -hmm. and sometimes it's like last night I had had a rough day and I just needed I needed to I needed to get out mm -hmm. I needed to be in a, in it's something else attention. other than my work Whoa. mindset and and it wasn't um, but I'm not always 
but I'm not one of those who gets up in the morning and goes, I'm going to go for a run because no. it feels so off. It, that's not it. I argue with myself oh, yeah. almost every I'm more time. Like, okay, almost every I'm time. I'm going to run today. Yeah. And this, mm -hmm. this kind of came out on a Twitter tweet um, a couple days ago. Somebody was saying something along, along those lines and I responded. I was like, you know, you nailed it because I've been running 20 plus years and I still have to talk myself out the door yeah. and get through that first mile. And yeah. once I'm through that first mile, it feels much yeah, better. Right. It's always worth it at the end, right. the feeling I have. So. Anyway, the, the whole th idea is that we want to relate to people that are just regular people mm -hmm. that want to get out yep. and exercise and have a general healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So yep. that's where we're headed. If you're interested in that kind of thing and us three and our friends being kind of goofy <laughs> sometimes, please subscribe to us. So. Um, that's, and we're, and we really, so we do a lot of goofy things and sometimes we just stand around and go, okay, well, what is it that we want to talk about? So, um, I think we've said it before, if there's something you want to talk about or you want us to talk about, yeah. you know, how we get up and what, you know, what gets us motivated in the morning mm -hmm. or what, you know, what is it that we do or what, you know, what's your morning routine before your routine before right. you get out, um, just let us know, yeah. you know, because it, we're here to share the information that's helpful to you guys. Um, we share it with each other all the time. Mm -hmm. so. um, just a little teaser that, of something that's coming up is Susan's husband ran a marathon recently yeah. <laughs> that we are going to be talking about and the way that he trained for it is like no other person. Yeah, yeah. It's genius. It really is. So, um, you know, keep an eye out for that. We'll we'll just say we'll put in the title Susan's husband ran a yep. marathon or something right. so that you know that that's what it is. But you are yep. not going to want to miss that. Mm -hmm. A because the way he trained for it is like no other person. Right. B because he's quite the character. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes. <laughs> So. But you know, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I remember, I think on my longest run, training run for the marathon, he ran the last two miles with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, and and I'm looking, and he's like, I'm, I'll go your pace, but he's making, he's actually pacing me, yeah. and helping me to go faster than I was. And he's just got this really unique way of doing that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes terribly annoying. <laughs> All the time, terribly He's done but, to all three of us. <laughs> but very unique, and mm -hmm. and my heart is, I, I just love Mark. I, I do. Mark. We all love him. Yeah. He's our chief motivator. He is. He's the chief, chief motivator, motivator of all yeah. of us. So anyway, yeah. with that, I think we're, we've been going yeah. for almost 30 minutes here, so we're going to go, but uh, we, we can toast with yeah. our last yeah. bit here Yay. Yay. to 2021. Yay, 2021.